Hey, it's Ubu, and happy Halloween. I hope you have a wonderful day, have lots of fun, lots of scares and frights, and eat lots of candy, and of course, stay safe and be careful out there. It's a spooky time. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd try out this demo for Satanic, which looked really fun and really interesting to me. The developer is really cool, and the game is basically a first-person survival horror game where you're in some sort of ex-Soviet missile silo bunker trying to escape a satanic cult, with also some sort of demon pursuing us that changes its behavior based on our actions. And it's developed by Silent Moon and self-published. You can find the demo on Steam. Also, at the end of the video, if you're not familiar with my channel, I will review the game and share my thoughts on it and whatnot. And what's, that's what I do here on my channel. And for Halloween, I'm also gonna recommend a few movies at the end, and chat a little bit about that. So hang around if you're curious of what I have to say about that. And um, yeah, we'll go ahead and hit uh, play here in a minute. <laughs> Almost said start, but the same difference, I guess. But also the developer was joking around, I, I don't know, maybe joking around about what uh, asking what people would like to see in their uh, game. And I asked them to put a little pale moth in here for me. And they said they did, or they would. I don't know if they were pulling my leg or not, but maybe we'll run across it as we play. That'd be really cool. But if not, that's cool too. So we'll go ahead and hit play now and uh, see what's up. I got my jack-o'-lantern shirt on. Pretty cool. <laughs> I will say the main menu is, oh, the investigation of a missing person's report brought you to a remote location in the woods. You found an abandoned bunker, entered, and looked around. Quickly realizing something was off, you tried to leave. But before you could get out, something hit you over the head, knocking you unconscious. What happens next is the story of your attempt to escape. I'm a little hyper today. But that sounds really cool. Pretty simple plot. I was going to say, the main menu is really quiet. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Damn, this game looks weird. <laughs> and you must pray for all those of weak humanity fear him. Revelation 12, 9. Whoa, whoa. Okay. I had to turn down the mouse sensitivity, man. It's like super extreme. Blow out candle. Humanity plus five. All right, I don't know what that means, but just like Dark Souls, the gate is locked. Like I said, I'm a bit hyper. Sorry. We will settle into this. Looks like we have a noise meter. Hello? No entry to unauthor unauthorized personnel. I can read, I swear. Some upside down crosses, which is a very popular symbol used in satanic themes. I will finish what I was gonna say about that in a second. The prisoners have begun digging tunnels. We are unable to sufficiently guard the prison wing, being understaffed as we are. I again formally request a replacement for the six men we sent last week. Commander Anton's Anton's Antonescu. Anyways, about upside down crosses, it's not inherently, I think, a satanic symbol. I don't remember who it was, but someone, David, uh, was crucified and thought as though they weren't worthy of being crucified as Jesus was, so they wanted to be crucified upside down. I might have that kind of wrong, but it's something like that. Anyways, we'll continue. Danger of death. Okay. We have a flashlight because it's so dark. I found a gun. I can't see a damn thing. That's cool. It's like amnesia. Watch out. You are making a lot of noise. Making too much noise will alert satanic entities of your present. Keep an eye on the noise meter. It tells you how much noise you are making. 
That makes sense. Uh, no. <laughs> All right, we got the light going. We have a rusty key. I can't help but make noise, man. Everything in here is made of metal. Hold R to view the cylinder. Click to reload. Shooting locks. Shoot padlocks on doors to access new areas. Just like Amnesia. Nice. I'll be honest. I didn't really like Amnesia the Bunker. Hot take. It was like kind of cool, but... Yeah, it's like kind of whatever. <laughs> So far, this is pretty cool, though. I haven't seen a pale moth anywhere. Okay. That's not normal looking. I found some alcohol. Commander Anton Antonescu <laughs> permanently moved me to the interrogation division. He knows I hate it. He's been giving me a tough time since day one. Yeah, I made mistakes here and there, but nothing major. This is BS. Dimitru. Oh, obviously they're okay. I was like, these names are weird, but. It's ex. It's an ex-Soviet bunker, so it, it makes sense. Unlocked from the other, or blocked from the other side. Excuse me. All right, here we go. That is super spooky up in here. It's an eyeball. Hello. Dear God. Or, sir, do you need an ambulance? <laughs> I don't think you're going to get one down here. I picked up a container. Do we have an inventory? I'm not really sure. I didn't expect this game to have like a weird sort of pixelated look about it, but I kind of like it. Oh, we dropped out a shell. Okay. Casing. Let's unlock this. Alright, I guess we can look through some drawers here. That's pretty cool. Filing cabinet. We got a key of some kind. What does this say? That boy must toughen up. He's a good kid, but this warm attitude of his won't do, in it, do him any good. Not in here, and especially not out there. I'll assign him to the interrogation division. I pray the Lord gives him strength. Commander Atonescu. Alright, so there's just... Oh, here we go. Pick up explosive. Okay, we're back in this room here where I have found a, a key on this desk. Uh, the game crashed on me. I got a fatal error. I was hitting a bunch of random buttons for the inventory, which is supposed to be tab, and it just gave me a fatal error. So I'm back here. I remember finding like an explosive too, and I, I don't seem to remember where that was, but because uh, I'm not sure. I don't know, whenever I hit tab, it doesn't do anything. Not really sure why, so <laughs> that's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, we'll continue on. Like I was hitting like Z and X and stuff like that. Nothing like too crazy uh, when it crashed. Just for, you know, transparency. 
Okay. Now we're moving on. Some bricks. Hello? Also, the more I'm playing this, the more I think this is clearly inspired by Amnesia the Bunker in some way, which is a good thing. Even if I'm not fond of that game too much, this is pretty cool so far. Good googly moogly, look at that symbol. Oh my god. That is an intense drawing. I like it. I haven't found any more ammo, which is unfortunate. I don't really know what that says. Solitary confinement. Well, it's pretty solitary now with the caved in. Needs a bolt cutter to open. Okay. We did get a key for like West Wing or something. I I should have paid more attention to it when I read it. But I can't look at my inventory, so I can't figure out <laughs> what key I have. But that's okay. Look at this, though. This looks freaking awesome. Whoa! This is cool. I love the rain, dude. This looks great. This is where the missile would come out of. Writing helps me process my mind's decay. I find myself sitting by this hole a lot. I don't think Nietzsche's quote about staring into the abyss was meant literally, but it feels like it does something to me nonetheless. I hope I never find out what's down there. Gabriel. I would assume there's a missile down there. Unless he's, he's referring to something else. Okay, there's no power to this box here. Also, still don't have a flashlight, so... <laughs> I have no idea. Redirect power... Uh, I can't... This is really spooky. I can't see in there, so... I'm gonna look around. I think this elevator can take me to the surface. I just need to find a way to power it. Gabriel. Container. Oh. A, B, C. That radio is making some weird noises, y'all. Okay, so I assume we need to go in the, like, the, I cannot talk today, sorry y'all. Uh, we need to go to, like, A, B, and C to, like, I guess, redirect power to the elevator or something to fix it. This rain is so cool, I love it. You can hear my heart pounding from our stamina. There we go. Okay. Intelligence center. I assume that's what that means. Dearest Mata. A riot broke out last night. We lost Dragos in the chaos. However, best assured, the situation is under control once again. The begging persists both in my resting and waking hours. Dr. Popescu, Popescu assures me that three milligrams is enough, and with time, the hallucinations will pass. With all my heart, we will be together again soon. Willem. Willem Dafoe? <laughs> I, could, I would feel safer with some bullets. He's a bolt cutter. Who's pounding on the door? 
I heard him run away. Scurrying off in the dark. There we go. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Hello? There's just nothing in here? Hey, ah, uh, that's kind of strange. We can go this way. So far, so good. I can't see there, so let's just keep exploring, I guess. Uh, God, look at these drawings. Those are crazy looking. I'm glad this game can't hear me, like, talk, because <laughs> I talk a lot. That would suck. Look at all these drawings, I love this. Is there a moth in here somewhere? <laughs> Very strange stuff. So cool though. I can't help but look at it. Oh no. I don't know what that noise is. Prisoners have started digging. They started off using their plates and cups. We thought it was a bit of a... F we thought it was a bit of fun at first, but they didn't stop. When their plates broke, they kept going with their hands. Fingers bloody, nails torn off. They wouldn't stop. They were talking about a banging sound from below, but none of us could hear it. We interrogated a few, even went as far as to torture them for answers. But all we got were vague cries about the banging from below. Soon after, their eyes went white, and they wouldn't make a sound, even while being lashed. Jeez Louise. Rusty key. I can't see in here, y'all. Can I blow these out? Okay, here we go. been pretty good about not making a lot of noise like sprinting around like crazy and stuff so just so we don't cause anything to attack us <laughs> what's this oh dude flashlight oh that's a good flashlight I knew I shouldn't have said anything. They told me I'm sick, but it's real. I can hear it, feel it. It's vibrating through my soul. I taste iron in my mouth. This is real. Dumitru. Some weird stuff going on here because it said it was like a silo. But it seems like it was used as a prison as well as a silo. I wouldn't want to be down here, I'll tell you that much. But here we are. <laughs> so we'll need a bullet to open that. Also notice like the white dots on the side of the flashlight. I don't know if that means how much battery we ha have. Excuse me. <clears throat> or if it's just for effect. All right. Investigating the banging, I guess. That's a bone. Nice. Crouching. Oh, it's the door. Okay.
What's in there? Some kind of demon portal. Doesn't seem to do anything. Report. Notable seismic activity detected within facility perimeter. Structural integrity may be compromised if intensity keeps increasing at current speed. Potential threat to operational stability. Requesting immediate assessment and directives. Commander Atonescu. Atonescu. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. Oh, another corpse. Many corpses. Jeez Louise, dude. It seems now the circumstances have changed. The prisoners are not only digging down, but what's down there is also coming up. I can feel it. The others don't want to believe me, but I can feel it coming closer. There's a heat, a stench that begins to permeate the entire facility. Dumitru. Oh no. Oh no. Alcohol. Good God, dude. There's a bloodbath down here. If okay, there's a door. Sorry if I step on you. Oh, there's a red, a red door. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. I want to investigate those. Nope. Mm, I don't like that. We're going to go look at those other doors real quick. They're all naked. It's kind of strange. There's another one of those weird red hole looking things. My flashlight's messing up. Right, we'll close that. I, don't, I wonder if it's like a spawn point for the demon that's supposed to be lurking about. Oh, this room is empty. Cool, cool, cool. Man, I haven't found any more bullets, and I, I, I really hope I didn't miss them. But I assume they would be somewhere obvious, right? Like in drawers or something? I guess we'll walk towards the creepy man. In a chair? He's moving. I'm nervous. Hey, 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 hey! Like I said, I don't have any ammo, so I guess we'll kite him. Follow me! Over here, over here. Ugh. I don't like the breathing. Oh no! I'm sorry, demon. Gosh almighty. Looks like we were able to close him in there. Oh, he came through the door. Well, we lost him. He doesn't see us. We, he de -aggroed. Okay. That's good. I wanted to double check those doors because I I couldn't remember what they did. Uh, what am I? What am I doing? I don't know if any of that is. Well, the door opened, so I guess I did it right. I don't really know. Bunch of other weird stuff on the wall. This is like celestial looking with with the 
moon or the sun. Very, like, hieroglyphic strangeness. My heart is beating. Which is a good thing. Maybe not this much. Okay, okay. This looks awful. A lot of whispering. I'm afraid to sprint. Uh, right now. I have a feeling we're about to be chased. Oh, shiz. Oh, no! Okay, okay. Let's get out of here. Dear God. Uh, does this work? Thank you for finishing the satanic demo. What is it? What? Oh, man. I was getting into that. The full sprawling bunker network, new threats, tools, and stories await you in the full game. Wishlist the tank now so you can get the game at a discount when it releases. It's a good deal. I can give you feedback here, but I will give you feedback in my video. All right, I'm going to talk about the game now. I had a pretty good time with this, actually. I very much enjoyed most of it. So um, first, what I usually do is talk about video, audio, and mechanics. So first I'll start with visuals. I said video, I meant visuals. So from the trailers and stuff and everything I saw on Twitter, I couldn't quite tell that it had this sort of pixelated approach to it, just very so slightly, and I actually quite enjoy it. I very much like the way it looks visually. I think the art direction is very solid, and it's overall construction of levels and everything in the way like the gun looks and the flashlight notes and the just all that kind of stuff the things you can interact with i think all of it i think comes across really strong and i think the visual art direction and everything comes across um, in, a, in a good way and benefits the game's overall uh, tension and sort of atmosphere and everything that uh, builds up throughout the demo and i think the visual aspect of it does it a lot of favors and that aspect and i think it helps the game I come across really strong. I think it did a really good job visually. I don't really have any issues with it at all. Uh, there are obviously some dark areas and whatnot, but um, it's designed in a certain way where turning on power switches and whatnot will turn the lights on, and then eventually you'll find a flashlight, which I actually think the flashlight looks really good as well. Because sometimes flashlight in games just don't come across very well visually. They just kind of look weird. They always try to like reinvent the wheel with flashlights. Like, just make the flashlight a flashlight and um, everybody will be happy. So, yeah, so I, I very much enjoyed the game visually. I have no complaints about it. I like that it has the pixelated approach, but it's not, like, overbearing and crazy looking. Just a bit of a sheen of pixelation, if that makes sense. It gives the game a really nice visual appearance. So, overall, visuals are really solid. Don't know how else to really say that right now. So, yeah, pretty good stuff there. In terms of audio, I think the audio is also fairly strong. I am very much enjoy the the ambience and everything and the musical tones that play in certain events and whatnot, like, you know, we're being chased and whatnot. And I like hearing the flickering lights and, you know, stuff, the way the gun sounds when you take, you know, the cylinder out and reload and drop the shells, you know, all that sounds really great. Um, opening the jail doors and everything like that. I think audio is super strong all the way around. I don't have any issues with that either. I very much like the, like I said earlier, the tension and everything that's building throughout the game. Um, the strange growling and stuff from the demon lurking about, making too much noise and everything. So um, yeah, I think it did a really great job in the audio department because I think audio is extremely important, of course, in all games, but especially in a game like this, it does help keep the game or the player interested in the game because they constantly have this 
audible sense of dread and whatnot around them. And I think it really motivates a player to really listen out for things while also being able to enjoy the ambience of everything and the environment you're in. It makes it feel lived in and real, just like the rain outside. I think it was really well done and looked great and it sounded great. And I think it was a really good addition to have rain coming down this massive silo. Really cool stuff. I really like that a lot. So in terms of audio, I mean, I'm really impressed with it. I think it did a really good job. I very much enjoyed it a lot. So I don't have much else to say about it other than that. I mean, really solid job as well uh, with the audio. So good work there. In terms of mechanics, it's obviously very reminiscent of Amnesia the Bunker. You have a sound meter. Uh, even though in Amnesia, I don't believe you had a meter, but in this game, it has the same concept of making sound being uh, a gameplay element, which... I didn't make enough sound for the demon to just randomly spawn on me. I'm not sure if that's even possible in the demo. I'm, it may be with the, the red uh, spots we saw on the ground, maybe spawn points for the demon if you make too much noise. That's just a theory of mine. But other than that, uh, the very fact that the audio is so strong, I think plays really well into the idea of having a noise meter to begin with. If the audio, I think, was lacking, the noise meter I don't think would work very well. But I think in conjunction with the audio design, the noise meter, I think works very well because it's very obvious of what makes noise like loud metal doors or metal gates, or if you're running and stomping around on concrete floors, shooting, obviously, especially when you're indoors, shooting a gun would be the loudest thing ever. Just, just saying. Yeah, really good job there in terms of just making the audio complement the noise meter mechanic. I think that does a, you know, a really solid job there. I think it uh, is really effective. So I like that a lot. And I like being able to look at your ammo in the cylinder. I think that's really cool. Ammo must be extremely rare in this demo or maybe in the game in general, which makes sense. If it's a survival game, then survival horror, then you don't need buttloads of ammo or you wouldn't find a lot of ammo in a place like this either, an abandoned silo from the Soviet era, <laughs> which is a long time ago. So... Yeah, pretty cool stuff in terms of the way the gun functions and everything. And I like, obviously, uh, the I like the switches a lot with the power, you know, redistributing power throughout this facility to unlock doors and whatnot. There may be some secrets and stuff associated with that, like doing certain combinations of switches. You can maybe go back, backtrack a little bit, find a secret weapon or ammo or some sort of crafting material or something like that. And speaking of crafting materials, there are things we found like containers and alcohol. And at one point I found an explosive device or some sort of explosive, but I was not able to access my inventory or look at the inventory. And I'm playing with keyboard and mouse, by the way. I know there are, I think, controller settings and I couldn't figure it out. I was, you know, hitting tab, like it says in the controls to do. Uh, which is strange that it just wouldn't work, or maybe it's just not part of the demo as a, as a mechanical uh, aspect of the demo. Maybe it's not necessary to have crafting, but I think if you're going to involve pickups where, you know, like containers and whatnot, I think you may need to show the inventory. Uh, I don't know why you would leave it out personally, especially for a demo. I think as a, a demo should really give you a little bite-sized piece of everything you can expect. Maybe not everything, but in terms of just basic gameplay mechanics, I think you need to show all of them, like inventory and whatnot, like everything else uh, with, the, you know, the gun and how that functions and, you know, crouching and just very simple, basic tutorial, things of that nature. We are like, okay, I understand what I'm doing as a player, but the very fact that I could pick these items up and not look at them or even look at my keys... Uh, I think it was a little distracting, a little strange to me, and I, I don't know if that's working as intended or not. I'm just pointing that out because uh, I'd like to be able to look at the inventory and inspect that uh, for a demo experience. I think it would work really well. And I wanted to look as well on the settings. Speaking of settings, okay, this is working now. After the game crashed, uh, just another note for the developer, I came back here just to like double check these so I wouldn't have to keep doing it. And, you know, like I said, inventory tab here. Uh, these just weren't showing up at all when I relaunched the game, but now they're here. Uh, just pointing that out. Obviously, it's not repeating itself um, as an issue, but um, th I still saw, thought it was strange. Anyways, uh, yeah, so I was curious about there being a crafting system of some kind. I assume there will be, just like Amnesia, where you like you can make Molotovs and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, like I said, pretty odd, though, that it was left out of the demo or it's just not functioning properly. Uh, please let me know what's up with that. I'd like to know what you have to say about that. And yeah, this is a pre-alpha demo now that I've noticed that finally. So obviously this is an early build 
Um, so I understand things po possibly not working as intended. Uh, so I always keep that in mind with games, even if I just now discovered it was pre-alpha. But um, being a demo, I still expect certain things to be met in certain ways. Obviously, I never expect perfection or anything ridiculously over the top in terms of expectations or um, sort of unrealistic expectations. Um, but I think the very fact that the inventory is kind of weird and not working or missing, I think is very strange for a demo. But other than that, mechanically, the game is very solid. I like that, like I said, with the power and everything and the way you explore, I think it's very satisfying to kind of tinker around with the environment to progress and open doors and whatnot, shoot locks and, and everything. And I assume maybe there'll be some different means of exploring and opening certain areas. And I'm excited to see how that goes. So yeah, overall mechanically, I think the game is fairly solid as well. And I expect there to be more involved with mechanics like, you know, being pursued by the demon and other situations where you have to make noise to progress or something of that nature. So yeah, mechanically, I think the game is pretty solid as well. So my final judgment for Satanic demo, the demo for Satanic, is I would say it's very good. I had a really good time with it. And even though I might have some gripes about the inventory and whatnot, uh, I think it was a really solid experience and I had a good time with it. And yeah, I think you did a really great job with this and uh, it was really cool. So don't forget to check the pinned comment below for the links to everything so you can go play this for yourself. Play the demo for yourself, form your own opinion, and share what you have to say to the developer. And I'm sure they really appreciate your feedback as well as mine. So yeah, don't forget to go do that. Before I close the video, I wanted to recommend a few horror movies that are uh, my, some of my favorites and I think are a great watch. Um, I'm not going to go on forever about this, but just a few. Obviously, one of my favorite horror movies, probably my favorite, is 28 Days Later. And if you haven't seen that, you must watch it. It's got Killian Murphy in it and a bunch of other people that you'll recognize and it's an excellent movie and a lot of people will use the misnomer that it's a zombie movie It is not a zombie movie it is very adjacent to zombies but they are not undead they are not supernatural it is all man-made event and it's really good so if you go into it not really expecting zombies like i think a lot of people might expect because they're called infected and I won't go too much further into that without spoiling the movie. So, but they are not zombies. And that is pretty much established right off the bat at the beginning, like the very opening scene of the movie. But a lot of people call them zombies and that irks me. Uh, that's just me, I guess. But anyways, uh, yeah, 28 days later is great. 28 weeks later is okay. I, I personally don't like it very much. It has an excellent opening sequence. But beyond that, it gets a little just whatever, honestly. It's still a fun watch, but I mean, if you're going to watch the first movie, you can watch the second movie because they are developing or, sorry, making, filming a new 28 years later or something. <laughs> so hopefully that goes well, but we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, aside from that, The Shining is one of my favorite movies as well. And The Thing, of course. Alien, you know, your typical what everybody says, you know, about the best horror movies like ever made. And they're all great. I think The Shining is my favorite, like, weird psychological kind of stuff that I like to get into sometimes. And The Thing is just crazy, insane body horror, like gore and creepy alien stuff. So, yeah, definitely go check those out as well. And some honorable mentions is one of them is Ganjiam Haunted Asylum. It's an excellent movie. It, it, it's kind of a slow burn for a while, but there's a really nice payoff towards the end of the movie. Uh, so I recommend seeing Ganjiam Haunted Asylum. And um, Cure, Cure, C-U-R-E, <laughs> uh, is a really good movie. It's super cool. I can't remember if it's Korean. Excuse me for not remembering. But Cure is, or Cure is a really good movie. I don't know why I can't say that. Really cool movie. Weird psychological movie. Uh, you got to watch. I don't know if they ever remade it or like did a Western version, but you got to watch the original. Um, and also Pulse is a really good Japanese horror movie. They remade it and called it Pulse. I think the original movie is called Cairo. Uh, so, yeah, definitely watch the original of that. It's really great. And I also watched a movie called The Wailing, which I believe is Korean. And... It is a long movie, and it's, but it's really good. So I would check that out too. And there's a couple of other ones that I, I mix their names up sometimes. There's, okay, so there's Memoir 
of a murderer and there's memories of murder. Those are both great movies and I highly recommend those as well. Just go look them up for yourself. I'll have like a list on screen here, hopefully, so you can keep track of everything mm-hmm. I said. But yeah, I'll just leave it at that. There's a lot of other movies that I like to watch around this time of the year, but uh, those that I'm I'm going to recommend off the top of my head. So have fun with that. Happy Halloween again. I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you if you enjoyed my content, hit subscribe and leave a like and comment and share the video too. That, that would do me a lot of good. I'd greatly appreciate that. And yeah, have have fun out there on Halloween. Eat lots of candy and stuff, like I said. Watch some spooky stuff. You know, hang out with your friends and everything. And um, have a good time. But be careful. Be safe out there. And uh, just enjoy yourselves. And I think that's all I have to say about it. So thanks for hanging out with me. And don't forget, the Pale Moth is always watching.